Hi foodies, we are making some beef balls with gravy today. Very simple dish, but it's absolutely flavorful. I consider it comfort food. Let's get started. Now, if you have some meatballs in the freezer you want to use, that's fine, but it's better from scratch, I promise you. So what I have in the bowl here, guys, is a beaten egg and some milk. Then I'm going to add seasoning. We have allspice berries that were crushed, all-purpose seasoning, salt and pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder. Then I am adding some jerk seasoning, wet jerk seasoning. And then more flavor, green seasoning. Green seasoning is just a blend of scallion and thyme, onion, garlic, a little ginger, some scotch bonnet pepper, all good stuff. It's going to make the meatballs really flavorful. Then I'm adding breadcrumbs. I just use the fine part of my grater to, you know, just grate some fine breadcrumbs. You do not have to buy breadcrumbs for this. So get your ground beef and if you're using chicken, that's fine too. Just scrape all of that mixture we did into the ground meat and stir with a spoon or you could use your hands. You know, as long as your hands are clean, just mix everything together. Cover this up and put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. So now I'm taking this out of the fridge, guys. It's going to be easier to scoop and that beef has absorbed a lot of that flavor. You can use a spoon or ice cream scoop. And then I like to oil my clean hands or my gloves and then just roll the meatballs. You can sear these in oil on the stove and that is absolutely awesome because you get a beautiful crust going on, but it's definitely easier in the oven. So I have parchment paper on a baking sheet here. I'm just gonna lay the meatballs on there and put them in the oven. You're going to do 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on size. And while the meatballs are in the oven, let's do a quick yardy style gravy. So onions and bell peppers, that's going to be sauteed in oil for about, you know, half a minute or so. Then we'll add garlic and the garlic can be minced or sliced, depending on what you prefer. If you want to, you could literally just use barbecue sauce or you could do an American style gravy instead. All right. So in goes the garlic. And then once this is smelling nice and fragrant, I am going to add water. This is very easy. So the water is in there. Now I'm going in with ketchup. And I'll add soy sauce as well. Here I'm adding pica pepper sauce. This is a Jamaican product that we use a lot in gravies. If you don't have this, you can use grace fish and meat sauce. That's another favorite. Here I am adding some all purpose seasoning. Here I'm adding black pepper. Diced green onions or scallion. I can't leave out my fresh thyme, scotch bonnet, and allspice berries. Always give it a taste and see if you need to add anything. You know, you could add a little brown sugar or a little molasses, some ginger powder or ginger extract. And then check on the meatballs. These are good. To go all you need to do is add them to the gravy stir everything together give them about a minute just to you know get nicely coated and serve them up these meatballs are so flavorful even without the gravy they are amazing and you can have this with some pumpkin rice or mashed potatoes some quinoa absolutely delicious Give this a try, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.